This is an extract from the book entitled Her Seed, The Amazing Love of the Extraordinary Father. The book reveals an exciting plot that existed before antiquity. The blood of Jesus has removed sin once for all. Hebrews 9.26-28, Hebrews 10, 1-8, 1 Peter 1.18-19. Jeremiah 50, 20 hinted at the new covenant under which God shall no longer hold sinners accountable, because their sins would have been accounted for by Christ crucified. God the Son was crucified as Jesus the man to pay the sin debt in full. John 19.30 I am thankful for the grace of God that is upon this nation. I am a Singaporean. In Singapore, we celebrate and embrace our diversity of backgrounds, languages, and beliefs. I have peppered this book with some seasoning of Singlish and added a dash of the Singaporean culture. If you like Singaporean cuisine, this will serve as an added attraction. You will also get to learn some Singlish, Malay, Hokkien, Cantonese, and Mandarin along the way. If I speak Tamil, I would have definitely included more of it. Vanakam, hello. Song lyrics that are deemed appropriate to the respective portions of this book have also been included. The titles of the songs are appended accordingly and you can YouTube it. Staying true to the belief that a picture speaks a thousand words, graphics have also been included in the unfolding pages. They serve to provide some comic relief. In summary, this book will appeal to your eyes, ears, heart, mind, and most importantly, your soul. Okay. All set Liao. Hope you will find this book shy oak. The general meaning of the word Liao can be roughly interpreted as already. The word Shiok means very enjoyable or pleasing, used as a term of general approval. Singlish wants Yui. Long live Singlish. As you immerse in the scriptures presented in this book, you will be drawn into an exciting and intriguing plot interwoven in fabrics of evil, mystery, murder, victory, love and much more. It is sure to keep you on the edge of your seat. Brace yourself for an exciting time in the Word. Get to see Jesus hidden in the Old Testament and have a taste of the Amor's experience. Witness for yourself the salvation plan of God from before antiquity to the present church age that we live in. Marvel at the profound wisdom of the triune God as he obscured the identity of the promised seed from the frustrated master villain, who played the hide-and-seek game over thousands of years. The Haman vs. Mordecai saga in the book of Esther was a foreshadowing of Satan's humiliating defeat, Esther 7.10. Satan knew that the promised seed would come from the Jews but he did not know who exactly. This probably explains the disproportionate hatred towards the Jews in general. He tried to kill the promised seed by attempting to exterminate the entire Jewish race. However, God worked behind the scene to thwart Satan's sinister attempt and turned the table against him. It was a demonstration of God's signature move beating Satan at his own game. The Jews were eventually saved from complete decimation. Today, this significant victory is celebrated as the festival of Purim in Israel. This is just an appetizer before the main course. So, tighten your spiritual seat belt and dive right into this exhilarating ride through the passage of time as we unravel one of the greatest biblical mysteries since time immemorial. The sole objective of this book is to attempt to make you salivate for the Word of God. This is motivated by 1 Peter 2-2-3. We will follow the lead of the foundation and reference scriptures all the way through to the New Testament.
In the course of this journey, we will be making many interesting observations from scriptures. For example, 1. God's signature move, 2. The crime Adam committed, 3. The identity of the missing man and the account of the adulterous woman brought before Jesus. 4. The principle of representation and identification. 5. The significance of the bruising of the serpent's head and the heel of the seed. 6. The many attempts by Satan to exterminate the promised seed. 7. How Chinese martial arts is akin to the concept of cornerstone. 8. How God served poetic justice on Satan. 9. How it is all about Jesus' faith in and obedience to God and not ours. 10. How Jabez and Joseph were types of Jesus. 11. How low a level God the Son condescended as Jesus the man. 12. How the Bible interprets the Bible. 13. How the Hokkien phrase my to li yell encapsulates the meaning of Ephesians 5:16. 14. How the righteous of God are beneficiaries of a recession. These are just some examples of the many observations that we will be making in this book. Grab a copy of the book to find out more. The views presented in the book are based on my understanding and observations. Readers are encouraged to check to the relevant scriptures to draw their own conclusions.